Why are you so upset? I got personal things going on. What's going on? No, literally, they're personal. He's, uh, he's got a lot on his plate, I told you. He's at the buffet with every different kind of food on his plate. <laughs> Literally. What kind of buffet? Is it a philosophy? Literally buffet? every every different type of Am buffet. Am I a nice buffet? Yeah, super nice buffet. How well actually no. Some of your stuff is like the Chinese buffet, like the five dollar all you can eat buffet. But he's got a lot of his plate. He said they were personal issues. They are. And then his work issue is he needs to get an email off, but he's fifteen minutes late to a meeting. So he wants me to go cover. It's gonna be a rough meeting for uh a, a, a typical team player, hey, can you go cover? No, he enjoys sitting here and just wants to make us further late and then watch me just squirm. Yeah. He loves torturing me. I get tortured every day, so. You know, I'm like basically COO slash Lorenzo's assistant. Yeah. You know, when people need anything from Lorenzo, I just they come filter it through me and then I go track them down. I'll just toss something across and be like, hey, the email, you gotta get back to him. It actually works really fantastic. We don't have a violent relationship, just toss a little nice little pen across the way. I obviously, I've, I know my, my weaknesses and I try to work on them as much as possible. So yeah, it gets, it's to the thought that two minds work better than one and we're constantly bouncing things off of each other and you know, I would never think that I could do something without him and hopefully he would feel the same about me. Um, but yeah, that's that's why we share an office. It works really well for us. Is he in there though? Is the guy in there? I got out of there talking and him started talking about fashion and just oh god, oh god, going in office there. clients he had uh, before and just towards him. Guys, it was from San Francisco already. He's talking yeah. about fashion. I lost my mind. Hey, how's it going? I'm Lorenzo. Derek, nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Absolutely. Like the e-commerce idea came came from just being unhappy with the, the current offering, which is you know, what a lot of new ideas come from and a lot of new business developments come from, is just understanding that there's an issue with the way things are done right now, and we have a lot of things that we want to accomplish in 2017. My name's Derek Nikolic. Um, I have a consulting company, uh, e-commerce consulting biz. I've been involved in e-commerce since uh, probably since I was like 16. I was building websites for friends when I was still in school, and that's kind of uh, mature to where I am now. Uh, I've had the opportunity to work with some amazing kind of hyper growth startups in the LA area, and, uh, New York, Seattle, and um, through that just kind of started putting tools in my toolbox um, so that when I come work with businesses like yours, I can kind of get my tools out and actually put them to use, so uh, yeah. Gear and apparel in hunting for me is strictly uh, utilitarian. It is based on what it does for you. been some time since I've sold physical products online. Uh, so that's a learning experience, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. I was in the Avalanche area, so I've, I was on Avalanche control most of the time. Um, but it's a lot of fun for 40 minutes from Las Vegas. Absolutely. So Karen, you know, like figures can't be choosers. Chris Porter, nice to meet you. Derek, nice to meet you, man. Sorry, I had to take care of my personal thing. No worries at all. So, how are you doing? We do. Yeah. Waters, we got coffees coming. You guys already order? We did. I yeah. didn't get an order. Can you get an order? What are you doing? Oh yeah. Did you introduce? Did you forgot introduce? what you're wearing today? <laughs> Black Santa. Yeah. Good old bucket head. As the camera's going. Go, he goes from got, he goes from like nice dressed up to go out with his wife last night to Black Santa shirt. He was like straight like corporate guy yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting because the day before I was filming him in another interview and he was super awkward, super quiet and didn't say anything and then the next day he wore his black santa outfit turn him back on. and he was the yeah. most talkative busting jokes doing all these weird things and the guy we had in there for that meeting was an important person for the e-commerce stuff and he's just going crazy busting all these like jokes and stuff and i was just like didn't understand like did the outfit make you do that or it's just because of like the, the day of the week you're like it's vodka so you never know what you're gonna get whether you're a startup and you're starting from scratch or you've been in business for 10 years and you're trying to make a shift these are the same yeah. conversations. That's why I'm sure where some people could misconstrue things is getting heated. To me, that's just passion. Everybody's oh, passionate. Yeah. You're passionate yeah. about development. I'm passionate about e-commerce. You're passionate about your vision. You're passionate about the business. You're passionate about what you've already put in. I, I think that that's, to me, what I saw, and that's amazing. The fact that everybody has an opinion, that's better than not having an opinion. So I think the magic happens in the middle. The same thing I was mentioning earlier, like partnerships. 
If it was just you, it probably wouldn't work. If it was just you, it wouldn't work. You put you together, and there's something that happened in the middle. It's, I think we get all of us together. I think what we end up with in the middle and the compromise, I think that's going to be the perfect solution. We want to completely change the experience, take away all the noise of, you know, the, the ship products that they're willing to carry and willing to sell because the commissions are bigger on it or the margins are bigger on it. That's not what we're doing this for. It's not how a consumer should be treated. So, um, you know, we want to completely reinvent the process of e-commerce shopping and retail shopping. So I like that you guys are open and as you go through the, the merchandising part of this, looking at those brands that don't necessarily, it doesn't, you don't, it's not synonymous with hunting and yet it's, that's fine. It's the best of the best. So Insider's been live for two years. We've learned a lot. We got great momentum, but there's, we have much more clarity on exactly what we will accomplish when. And um, e-commerce is the big one, which we've been talking about a lot lately. We have an e-commerce consultant who's jamming. We got our development house, which is researching all the different platforms, and we are going. And so that's gonna be the big initiative, all hands on deck. Are you normally on your phone? Yeah, for sure. Because I want to see if somebody's looking at big deer. I want to see what's out there. I'm actually working on not, you know, getting away from my phone. When I start to tune out, I think about hunting, obviously. That's all I think about. Who's see. killing what, where the big deer are, how the weather's going to affect them. It's starting to snow in the west pretty heavily, so I know all the deer are showing up and I want to be out there looking at them. But yeah, that's where my head goes. So I'm here at the Browning headquarters in Morgan, Utah to see what goes on inside the office. There's been this, this talk within the hunting industry that uh, custom guns are the only guns able to shoot long distance of 700 yards plus, the only things that can do it accurately. And uh, we're, we're here to find out if that's 